The film begins with the main character with his family having lunch when the main character receives a phone call. In fact, the primary character of the film is a police officer who has been notified of a murder. He rushes over there and watches the killer, who is calmly sitting there, sick due to an allergy affecting his entire body. When the police officer enters, he sees the dead bodies that have been roped together after being brutally murdered. His fellow officers inform him that the murder does not take place here. Rather, the dead bodies have been brought here after they have been killed. Later, they arrive at the place of the murder, which was a strange place, as if someone had performed a ritual there. They find a lot of black magic-related items there. There seemed to be some dead birds. There was a plant there, that after moving further, looked like small skulls. As the officer was ready to touch the plant, he is interrupted by his colleagues. A jungle is shown in the movie from here, where a man was hunting when his feet slipped, causing him to fall and faint. After recovering his senses, he notices a wild man eating his prey, and the wild man notices him as well. When the wild man approaches him, he notices that the wild man's eyes. They aren't human-like, and he thinks he's a demon or a ghost. All of this information was given to the main character Zhang Gu by another police officer. According to another police officer, whatever murders happen in the village. They were the result of the Japanese they had watched in the jungle. Zhang Gu does not believe him, claiming that the post-mortem report for the murder does not state anything about that. He also claims that the Japanese man is just like us, and that he could not do it. The next day, Zhang Gu receives another report of a murder, this time including the murder of a whole family. Their house, after the murder, has burned down. Later, after arriving to that location Zhang Gu sees a mysterious girl wearing a white dress. That girl claims that before she died, she met this couple. Who told her that the Japanese man was a ghost and must have murdered them. Zhang Gu is taken by that girl inside, for the proof she asks the police officer have you seen him before? Zhang Gu responds yes, I've seen him before, and she tells him to be careful. Because that Japanese man's next target will very certainly be you and your family. In the meantime, Zhang Gu receives a call and is unable to comprehend his conversation. When the officer returns, he notices that the mysterious girl has vanished. He hears unusual noises on the other side of the house, and when he goes to investigate, he discovers that a Japanese man is violently eating an animal. He also has seen him and was about to eat the officer and the police officer wakes up. We notice that he has seen that Japanese man only in his dream. The health of Zhang daughter, Gu's Hio Jin, was worsening. He believes she may have a normal fever, so he goes to the police station. They then go to that hunter, who was featured at the beginning of the movie, to question about that Japanese man. That hunter takes the police to the location where he saw him eating an animal. They haven't thoroughly investigated that location yet, and the hunter is struck by lightning, and he is taken to the hospital. The first killer is shown in the hospital, where his body is terribly bending and he dies in that state. When Zhang Gu returns home, he sees her in the same situation as the killer, but he has control over his daughter. She does not die, but her condition changes as she eats a significant amount of fish that she has never eaten before. Following this, Hyo Mother Jins believes she is under the influence of some evil or ghost. Hyo Mother Jins tells Zhang Gu that we should take her to a good shaman. Shaman is one who performs rituals and keeps ghosts and demons at away. Zhang Gu, on the other hand, does not have to believe in these things, which is why he ignores them and reaches police station. His colleagues meet him with a man who, along with a priest, is fluent in Japanese. According to the police officials, we may require this man. According to the villagers, everything was happening due of that Japanese man when we went to meet him. After taking the priest, the people proceed to the Japanese man. A police officer sees many photographs of the villagers who had died. Zhang Gu, on the other hand, enters a room and assumes that it is a ritual room with various black magic-related items. Meanwhile, that Japanese man arrives, both terrified after watching the condition of there. They consider him as a ghost, they both flee in terror from there. The other police officer informs Zhang Gu that that Japanese man's next target is your family. How could you say that, Zhang Gu asks. The officer shows him a shoe that belonged to her daughter. 
As a result, when he returns home, he inquires about that Japanese man from Hyo Jin. After hearing his name, Hyo Jin became enraged. After a while, he notices the same allergy on Hyo Jin's body as he saw on the killer's body at the start of the movie. Jang Gu instantly takes the priest to the Japanese man, who has come to see the dead people's photos. When he arrives, he discovers that there is no photograph, so he breaks everything in the rag. As he watches, a Japanese dog attacks him, and he severely kills the dog. As the Japanese man approaches him, he threatens him, saying, if you don't leave this place within three days, I'll murder you as I did this dog. On the other side, Hyo Jin's condition was failing, so Jang Gu invited a shaman into his home. After taking Jang Gu aside, the shaman notices a pot in their home. Tells him that whatever is occurring with their daughter is due to that Japanese man. And that Japanese man isn't a human. There are two ways to get away from all of this. One is to kill the Japanese man, and the other is to allow me to perform the ritual. He claims that if it doesn't happen, the villages would be subjected to the same fate as your daughter. Jang Gu agrees with him. Now, as we see in the film, the ceremony is performing two locations, in Jang residence Gu's and by the shaman. The other is performing at a Japanese house. To complete his ritual, the shaman has created a massive doll that was of the same size of the Hyo Jin. Hyo Jin has pain in the exact place where he strikes the doll. The Japanese man, on the other hand, was experiencing the same discomfort as Hyo Jin. We note that Hyo Jin's condition is worsening, and she tells her father that the ritual must be stopped in some way. Jang Gu stops her daughter's ritual and takes her to the hospital. On the other hand, we see a Japanese man crawling out of his house, in pain. He notices that mystery white-dressed female, and she terrifies him. As we can see, the ritual is now complete, and the shaman said that there were two options for ending it. They now have a second option to kill the Japanese. Jang Gu enters the Japanese residence with the priest and other men. They don't discover Japanese man, but they do notice a man who looks like a zombie on the back side of the house. They were about to kill him when the priest intervened, and the odd boy bit the priest and died as a result. Jang Gu notices the Japanese man and begins following him in order to grasp him, while he hides from them. When Jang Gu and his companions are unable to locate him for an extended period, they return. However, the Japanese man is now being pursued by that white-dressed girl whom he fears a lot. Finally, we observe that the girl murders the Japanese man and throws his body into Jang Gu car. They become terrified after seeing his dead body and decide to dump it away. Later, Jang Gu visits his daughter, Hyo Jin, and she recovers entirely. After the death of a Japanese man, Jang Gu believes everything becomes fine. Nothing, on the other hand, becomes fine. The injured priest man has illusions about the Japanese man, and the shaman has illusions about him as well. He notices that his fellow police officer has murdered all of his family members. He is now sitting on the floor, just as the person was at the beginning of the film. He, too, suffers from a bodily allergy. On the other hand, we see the shaman who was looking for Jang Gu in order to inform him that we are in serious danger. His nose starts to bleed before he discovers Jang Gu, and he starts vomiting on the opposite side. He wants to leave the village since he is terrified of everything, but some mysterious creatures prevent him from doing so. He comes back home, as Jang Gu calls Shaman. He informs him that killing the Japanese man was a terrible mistake. Because he wasn't a bad man, but rather a white-dressed girl who lives near your house, and she has black powers. Actually, the Japanese was attempting to save us from that girl, but you destroyed everything by killing him. He visits Hyo Jin, who was not at home, and discovers the white-dressed girl outside the house. When he asks about her daughter, she replies that she is inside the house. I'm performing a ritual on her, and as a result, the Japanese man's affect will go away. She informs him that the Japanese is still alive, that he is a bad man, and that he is preparing to eat the overall community. Jang Gu was about to enter the house to take his daughter when she stopped him. And it's said that you shouldn't go inside until you don't hear the sound of a hen and listen to that hen sound three times. Meanwhile, the hen makes one sound, but still, two sounds of the hen were left. Jang Gu tries to enter but is stopped by the girl. 
He was surprised as to how she could arrive so quickly. The priest, on the other hand, is aware that the Japanese is still alive and that he is an evil person. He goes there to kill the Japanese, but after entering a cave, he really sees him alive. He was performing a ritual in that cave. Whereas, we see he o jin who has eaten a large amount of fish. And she was still eating and looking at her mother strangely. And then she watches the knife behind her mother. Outside the home, Jang Gu receives a call from the shaman, who tells him not to listen to the white-dressed girl's conversation. The girl, on the other hand, warns him not to enter the house. Now we see the Japanese man again, who was asked by the priest to tell him who he is otherwise, I'll murder him. He informs him that he is not a ghost, but rather a normal man. He inquires is the ghost's foot the same as a human's? He claims that his hands, feet, and skin are human-like, and that you are welcome to touch him. The priest is photographed by the Japanese man, who takes out his camera. On the other hand, we observe Jang Gu, who goes inside the house over the girl's restriction. When she arrives, the worst happens. She murders her entire family, but despite this, he calls his daughter with affection. The scene cuts to the Japanese man once more. Who is now in his true form, his skin is strange, and his head has two horns. Everything around him, including his nails and eyes, turns odd. The white-dressed girl was a good girl with white powers, while the Japanese man was a true devil, as we know. The shaman appears and enters Jang Gu's house, where the white-dressed girl is sitting, as she lost everything. Kyo Jin, on the other hand, was sitting as all killers do after committing a murder. He enters the house and returns after photographing all of the dead people. As he keeps the pictures by his car, a box slips from his hands, containing all of the dead people's pictures. We know the shaman was associated with that Japanese man, and he was present when he performed a ritual on Hyo Jin. He was having pain because of the white-dressed girl's rituals, not because of shamans. So far, we've seen the shaman leave the village when he was caught. By the Japanese man's supernatural creatures, he works for him. The film ends with that Japanese man's victory.